Hello and welcome to the introduction of Secureboot. In this presentation, we will give you a short overview of how Secureboot can improve the safety and security of your application. FNS supports Secureboot for all its NXP products. During the presentation, we will lead you through the essentials of the Secureboot process and your options. So what is Secureboot and what are the benefits of it? The goals of Secureboot are on the one hand the protection of intellectual property and on the other hand the protection against manipulation. The boot code cannot be read out and only certified software is accepted. Secureboot is the concept of protecting the system from manipulation and the software from decrypting. Both procedures can be used for the whole boot process. There are different components, hardware as well as software, which are mandatory to use Secure Boot on your system. All of these components are already integrated in the CPU, except for the code signing tool, which is an external tool to sign and encrypt your specific images. Here you can see the boot process of the FNS boards. I will describe the different stages using the example of a Linux system. The process starts at the bottom with the ROM bootloader. It is implemented by the manufacturer of the CPU and immutable. Then the next stage is the nBoot, which is an own developed bootloader by FNS. The main task of the nBoot is to detect the specific board and setting up the RAM. Now U-Boot starts and prepares everything for starting the operating system. During the complete boot process, every step is verified. There is no break of security at any point. The FNS Secure Boot tool makes the whole process very easy. The customer defines the image which the FNS Secure Boot tool should sign or encrypt. He does not have to handle the complexity of the different tasks to transform a normal image to a signed or encrypted image. The signed or encrypted images are automatically received and can be installed directly on the embedded board. Here you can see the key characteristics of the Secure Boot. Here you can see the signing process. On the left side in the grey box are the steps on how to sign an image. This can be easily done with our FNS Secure Boot tool. The next step is to burn the public key inside a corresponding fuse. You can see it in the middle box. This means the public key cannot be changed and is therefore trustworthy. In the next step the signed image is verified by the board. First, the board takes the reference hash from the signature. Then it calculates a new hash for the given image. If these hashes are confirmed equal, the image is allowed to start. Here you can see the encryption process. On the left side in the grey box it shows the creation of an encrypted image. This can be easily done with our FNS Secure Boot tool. On the right side the board decrypts the image. An encrypted key is called a key blob. The secret key is made from the key blob and can therefore decrypt the image. In conclusion, this means the following. The images are transferred to the FNS Secure Boot tool. The tool creates a complete signed and encrypted image. This image can be rolled out easily on different boards. FNS offers two options to make the use of Secureboot as easy as possible for our customers. Secureboot as a service includes signing, protection against manipulation and if necessary encryption, protection of intellectual property by FNS. The customer hands the images over to FNS. They will be returned to the customer signed and encrypted. The customer can now install the protected software on his FNS boards in his own production. Optional and for an extra fee, FNS can insert the protected images on customer specific boards. Secureboot as a package on the other hand is a workshop where you will learn how to sign and encrypt the software yourself. Feel free to contact FNS and we will help you choosing the right option for you.